Today, we're going to be going through the process of how to update the firmware on your Trezor device. Trezor has two models currently, the Model 1 and the Model T. The update firmware process is the same for both. What you're gonna be needing today is your device and the cable to plug it into your computer. We should be ready to go. Let's get started. One convenient path you can take to both see if you need a firmware update or to access a firmware update for your Trezor device is by navigating to the key information page for a particular key within the Unchained platform. In this instance, I'm gonna be selecting my key Puppy for my main vault here in the Unchained platform. This maps to my Trezor device. When I select Puppy, I'm gonna be taken to the key information page for Puppy. And I can go ahead and select Check Now over on the right-hand side. At this point, I can select Trezor as my type of hardware device. And before I select Connect to Trezor, I wanna make sure my device is plugged in and that my pin is entered so my device is unlocked. When I select Connect to Trezor, I'm gonna be taken to a new page, which might look familiar if you tried to sign with your Trezor device before or have added it as a key. What we wanna click on here is the Allow Once for This Session button. When I do that, in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, it's gonna tell me that a new firmware update is available for my device. I can select update my firmware to be taken to the Trezor suite where I can then go ahead and select install firmware to upgrade my firmware in this instance from version 2.4.2 to 2.4.3. And I do just wanna make a quick note here that the process I just showed is for the Trezor Model T with the full touchscreen. For the Trezor Model 1, the process is very, very similar from within the Unchained platform, except you'd be of course entering your pin using the dot matrix on the screen of your computer as opposed to your device. Uh, still connecting to Trezor, you'll see in the upper left-hand corner of that previous page, the option to update to the latest firmware. Hopefully you found today's video helpful. For more information from the team at Unchained, please subscribe to this channel as well as check out our knowledge base that's linked below. Thank you for watching.